Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And you may have remembered in the last episode I got this dirt pet. And it said it's... I couldn't get it to work. Uh, it turns cobble to dirt. It has a random attack and bonus on cobblestone. And it seemed to be okay, but it wasn't... Um, it wasn't regenerating or anything. The bar was depleted. And then I just happened to put some cobblestone into it because it says its favourite food is tile.cobblestone name, tile .cobblestone name, which, you know, I guess it shouldn't be saying that. And then it says YouTuber, so I thought that must be something strange. But then I put some cobble in my inventory and all of a sudden I got this. Speed, four, strength, haste and regeneration. So, yeah, see, I've taken it off now. Don't get it. Put it back. I've got them. So I've been racing around like a madman and it kind of took me by surprise because I wasn't expecting it. But um, but yeah, just got to give it some cobblestone, which is pretty interesting. And then also, do we have any? No, we don't have any loot crates to open. So today I thought we will knock out a few of these quests because these red ones let's see if we can get these done today because these are pretty simple so we need a tool upgrade to make an iron paxel which is three tools in one a pickaxe an axe and a shovel what's this one um with the mod just a few fish fishing is very different for starters the regular fishing pole does does nothing now Time to make the modded version. Okay, so it's a modded fishing, an iron fishing rod. And what else is there? Back. Um, an iron chest. Back. Cobblestone generator. And a destruction wand. Okay, well let's start with the Paxel. I did put some iron to smelt. It's one block, seven ingots, okay. So, right click on that to get the block out. And let's start also getting ingots as well. I can't remember if I told you how to make the ingot cast. Oh, I didn't mean to take, pick up the ingot cast. Where's, oh, there it is. But basically you put gold in the smeltery, you put in a uh, a brick, and you pull the gold over the brick, and it will consume the brick, but it will give you the ingot cast. And you do that for any cast that you need to make. You put in gold, and you pour out the gold over the shape of the thing that you need to cast. So if you need like a pickaxe head or something, you'd make a stone pickaxe head, and that's how you make your casts. You can also make your cast out of aluminium brass, and clay but if you use clay then that is a one-time use only it will consume the clay cast as well so that is something that you'd use very early in game when you haven't got access to gold okay no more that's it right so we have 16 iron let's get some sticks Wow, this speed thing is... it's amazing. Let's get some more wood. Right. And let's turn this wood into... Turn it into planks. Yeah, I probably don't need that many sticks. Need two sets of sticks. Okay, and we want to make the pack saw, so that is three, four. So we want a pickaxe, a shovel, pickaxe, a shovel, and an axe. 
Is that not an axe? How do you make an axe in this pack? Is that not how you make an axe? Am I A X E? Oh. Okay. That's changed. And then to make the pack saw, you put all three of them across the top. Yeah, so the axe, the shovel, and the pickaxe, and that gives you the pack saw. Are you going to update? Thank you. So let's get that. Next thing is an iron fishing rod. I didn't even know they had a fishing rod. I've never heard of that one. Um, iron fishing. And you need two bits of iron string and a hook. And a hook is iron nuggets. Okay, so to get the nuggets, you take a piece of iron, put it in your in the crafting table, and it will break it down into nuggets. So the hook is that. String. Do I have any string in the house? Oh, that's cool. Where is the house? The house is that way. Let's go see if we have any string. There is something that... I don't know what it is. Every time... Oh, there's particle effects. No. It's not the berry bush. But there is something. Every time I come out the door, it would give me a little bit of poison. Weakness? Oh, that's strange. Oh dear. But it's every time I come through the door. And that, oh, no, hold on, E. Yeah, now my effects have gone. Maybe for the, oh no, where is, no, it's there. I don't know, I really don't know. Right, I was looking for string. We have some string here. Uh, food goes in here. Let me just quickly clear up my inventory. Oh, I um, in the last episode I was looking for carrots and not carrots, corn and so on, and I broke one of the palm hams harvests and I got I got the stuff that I needed. I've got regeneration now. That's very interesting. I've got speed effects. Yeah they're back. So I don't know for that for that um inventory pet if it's just for indoors, but I I really don't know. Um missing items stick. I have sticks. Did I take them out? I took them out. Okay, let's try that again. We have everything and now we have an iron fishing rod. So let's get that. Deconstruction wand. I don't know what, don't know how you make that. Let's find out. No. Uh, builder's wand, deconstruction wand, magic wood and three gold. Magic wood is a bookshelf and a piece of gold. Okay, let's leave that for now. Because I'm not sure how much gold I have. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. So we'll leave that for a minute. Iron chest and the cobble generator. Let's try with the cobblestone gen. What do we need for that? Alright, we want the first tier. A bucket of lava, bucket of water, six cobblestone 
and a piece of glass. Okay, let's go back in the house. I really need to bring everything across. In between episodes, I'm going to start building my house. I'm definitely going to start building. I didn't get a lot of time between the episodes. Yeah, every time I come in. Well, maybe it's... And... Yeah. So maybe it's the kind of thing where you get all this, all this stuff from being outside. You come in and you don't feel well. Because you're indoors. Okay, how much gold do we have? Not much. So I can't do the deconstruction one yet. Um, cobble chip. I need another bucket. Do I have another bucket? No, I don't. Right, let's take those iron. Let's make another bucket. And I need cobblestone. Take a stack of cobblestone. And glass. Did I have no I haven't got any glass. Take a piece of sand and let's smelt that up. And a piece of wood. That should be enough. Okay, come on, hurry up, hurry up. We don't have all day, Mr. Furnace. Right, there's the glass. Oh, did I right click? I must have right clicked on it. That's a bit random. Okay. So, cobble gen, first tier. Oh yeah, we need the water. Where's my other bucket? Didn't I have another bucket? I thought I did. Right, there's two buckets. Take some lava from there. Take some water from the river. And now we should be able to make a cobble gen first tier. And with the cobble generator, what it does, as it says, it, says, it does what it says on the tin. It generates cobble. And you can put any inventory on top, and it will output that inventory. Oh, and you get your buckets back. So do we have storage drawers in this? Storage. Yes, we do. Those are the upgrades. Okay, so I need some wood. All right, let me go get some wood and come back. Okay, so I cut down a eucalyptus tree that gives you um, pink pink planks. Let's make some um, chests. For a minute, my mind went totally blank. And I need to put the chests and the planks one along the top and the bottom. No, it only takes vanilla wood. I had a feeling that might be the case. Right, let's see if we can find... Have they got vanilla trees around here? Let's have a look up here. Uh, what trees are those? Those look like jungle wood. That could work. Oh no. Wait. No, that's not jungle. That's some kind of palm tree. Palm wood. That may or may not work. That'd be nice to um to build with though. Did that give me any saplings? Eh, no. Why are there no vanilla trees when I want them? Uh, over on that hill over there. There's a plank here, not a plank, a log here, but those are black kakuro trees. Oh, you have to be careful of these plants here. Get the cataplant, they will push you in the direction that they're, that they're, um, they're pointing, which is really annoying if you're trying to do certain things. There you go, see? 
That one just pushed me. I touched it by accident. What is my inventory for? Um, let's get rid of some of these. Oh, my axe in that hand. Let's get rid of some of these birds. Let's free up some space. Okay, palm wood. So I don't want any corn oak. Avoid the kettle plants. Um, let me see, you get four pieces. Four pieces, yeah. One more. Okay. Right, where is my house? No. What's that on top there? What is this? Oh! There's a dungeon. We'll have to explore that. We will explore that because there should be some goodies in the chests. Okay, I need to find my way back home now. I've got my slime boots on. Right. Oh no, not the... I had wood in here? Really? Yeah, didn't think to look in the chest. <laughs> oh dear. I did not think to look. I didn't remember I had the chest there. Alright, let's turn these into planks. And you need one chest. What's that? Oh, it turns into mini chests. I don't know what you'd use a mini chest for, because I think it can only hold one item. But you put one chest in the middle, six planks on the top, six planks on the bottom, and that will give you a basic drawer. And I'm pretty sure they go into storage drawers in a lot of detail later on. But basically it lets you store lots of things of one item. So a basic storage drawer gives you a stack limit of 32. If you hold down shift, as you're looking at the drawer, it will give you that information and it will show you how much is in there. So my cobble gen will keep inputting into that drawer until it's full. And you can make upgrades to expand the size of your drawers. Right, so we've got that. Clean that. Iron chest. Now I'm pretty sure that's a normal chest with iron all around it. Do we have enough iron? I don't think we do. Iron chest. Yeah, we need as eight bits of iron. Eight bits of iron around the chest. I have three here. Hmm. Do I have any iron in here? No, I don't. Oh, I got the beacon from a loot chest. I went and opened it and I got the beacon, but I never made a beacon. Don't know what to do with it, so it's in there. <laughs> All right, let's go over in the house and let's see what we can find. Okay, back for a second. I suddenly thought I've got two loot chests. Let's open it and see what we have. Soul sand, quartz, and glowstone. And what's in the other one? Potion of haste, potion of leaping, potion of swiftness. Okay. Not brilliant, but I would have liked some um some iron. That would have been nice. Right, let's let me go back to the house and see what I have. Okay, I had a look in the house. I don't have any more iron bars, but I did find I some iron armour and two iron horse armours. And I'm pretty sure you can smelt them in the in the smelter, in the tinker smeltery, and render them down to get some stuff back. As long as they have as long as none of the durability has been used. And they are heating up, so let's see how much, armor, how much iron we get out of this. 
if I had, I know there's some some mods as well that if you you can pulverize them down and get stuff back as well. But yeah, I was pretty sure that the the smeltery will smelt them down. You won't get back all the all the iron that you used for it, but you will get back a large amount, which is handy in this case because I didn't really want to go mining. <laughs> What did they say about a watch pot? A watched watch pot never boils. Right, so two blocks and two ingots. So that's 18, 20 pieces of, of um, 20, 20 pieces of iron, which is awesome. Right, let's bring you down. So at least then we can make our iron chest. Because I know I'm not going to be taming any horses and I won't need the iron armour, so I might as well make use of it. And see, that's the point of modded, it makes things useful. Right, you've done, you've done that and that. Okay, so... Let's render you down. Need a, another chest. The only thing about the iron chests is that they don't join up like vanilla chests do. So you have, you can put a whole, whole row of chests like that, but if you put them together they don't join up like vanilla chests. Right, so we've gotten that done. Clean that, or you get another iron chest. So yeah, put that next to it. It's two separate entities. It doesn't merge. And what was the next thing? We have time to do a couple more. Um, heavy lifting, iron chest transporter. Yes, I've used those before. They're pretty cool. Um, you can make uh woods, wooden ones, all the way up to iron. Let's make. Um, some sticks out of that. All the way up to diamond, I think it is. Oh, you can make sticks this way. Two sets of logs will give you six. That is awesome. And then you'll put them in uh, an upside down helmet and the, the iron underneath, and that will give you the iron chest transporter. And you will use those to pick up chests. So you hold it in your hand, point at the chest, you pick it up. And then you usually get slowness or something like that, because obviously you're carrying something heavy. And then you can put it down again. With the wooden chest transporters, and the wooden transporter is the upside down helmet and the piece of wood underneath, those are single use only. But anything, any tier higher than wood, you can use those until the durability runs out. So that is that. Let's claim the loot chest for that. And backpacks. Now we need leather for that, don't we? Pretty sure we need leather. And wool. Uh, now that's hardened leather. Well, why did I just type leather? I meant backpacks. <laughs> Backpack. Hello sheep. Basic backpack, yes. Leather and wool. So we are going to have to make a pair of shears and start shearing the sheep. But I haven't seen any cows. I have to start looking for cows. But let's open our loot crates and see what we have. It's only one? Oh, it's because we've got a... a I know I didn't mean to do that. But now we've done that, there should be stuff. Let's see. All the stuff's moved over there. So what's in this one? No, wrong hand. Okay, so it's divided up the things between the chest, because that chest was full. Right, let me put this away before I use it all up. And I have to make another one. I've got some bird's nest to open. Oh, in case you're wondering, these are ender lilies. 
you can put them on grass to grow but they do take a very long time but they grow into ender pearls they grow quicker on end stone but you know we haven't been to the end yet but you can um you can make those and they grow into ender pearls and they keep them growing so it's a it's a good source of getting ender pearls actually right let's have a look and see what's in this loot crate Ooh, an elytra i've never used an elytra i don't know how you use it let's have a look oh i look like a butterfly very nice but I have never used, I've never used an elytra. I don't know, I don't know what you do with it. I don't know how you use it. I'm going to have to have a look on that one. See, with our cobblestone gen, we now have 325 bits of cobble in there. So it's five stacks of 64 plus seven. And it will keep going up until it gets to 62. And then I could put an upgrade in it. So this week we've had a little bit of a shorter episode. And let me cut down these trees while I remember. But between episodes I will start making my house. Oh, I put that in my offhand, didn't I? I will start making my house and start moving my stuff across. Because I don't want to be in the village. The villagers have been very nice to me and very welcoming. But I want my own place. So I'm going to be doing that between episodes. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.